Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Derek, and you caught me on the road again. You know, I, I've tried to film this a few times now, and I've almost got caught in a wreck a couple times. I've been on the road all day today uh, for my job. And I wanted to make a video, uh, just talk about a few things. I said I was going to make more content, and uh, this is one of the ways I'd like to do it. And I might start a new series, and we'll just call it On the Road. Um, you know, just a way where I can ramble on about things that's going on. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this kind of content. If you haven't already, uh, I think Sunday, maybe? I released a video, it was a response to some of the comments of a video I'd done uh, a few months ago in regards to a um, troll on YouTube named Afro Gamer Dude or Afro Gaming Guy. I forget his name, but that's not really important. But if you haven't checked that out already, um, kind of talk a little bit about some of the comments that was made. Now that original video is kind of one of my most controversial videos. And when I say controversial, I mean, it's got high views and it's got more dislikes than likes, um, which, you know, I kind of assumed that was gonna happen. Um, you know, I got a lot of people saying, you know, it was, you know, he, he was a bad person. Then you got some people who was defending him, which, you know, that's your opinion. And I, I'm glad you guys are on here and just, you know, watching the video to begin with. That, that's pretty cool. And, you know, I like to hear your guys' opinion on it. And you guys told me. So, you know, keep on doing that. Let's keep on uh, getting these numbers up and keep on doing more stuff. Now, um, in terms of more content coming, there's going to be more Pokemon unboxings. Though I'm trying to stop mainly concentrating on Pokemon. I know the next couple months is going to be big for Pokemon because we got the games coming out, um, you know, Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, or Shining Pearl, Brilliant Diamond. Damn it. <laughs> Brilliant Pearl and Shining Diamond? I, I, I don't know. I get them confused. But uh, we got those coming out, so we'll be streaming again, which is exciting. Um, there's some games I'm wanting to talk about. Far Cry 6, Back for Blood. We've got the new Call of Duty coming out, Halo Infinite, and uh, there's some other games. I think we just got the Crisis Trilogy just came out. Uh, it was remastered on PC, Xbox. I think it's even on the Nintendo Switch, but I'm not 100% sure. But if you haven't played Crisis, I mean, it'd be a good time to play the Crisis games. They're, they're pretty good. The campaigns are great. For the most part, they're nonsensical, but you know what? What <laughs> game first-person shooter is? You know, makes sense. Not very many. The gameplay's fine, um, but I may pick that up. We still need to stream No More Heroes Three. I haven't touched that game yet. Have not touched. It. I've been playing Far Cry Six and Back for Blood by myself. I haven't. I had. I, I play with bots, and one of the things I'm kind of pissed off. Well, all right, let's not talk about it because we want to save that for another video about Back for Blood. It, it, it's a pretty cool game. It's basically Left for Dead 3, but I, that's as far as I want to get into it. So I want to talk about that game by itself. I actually installed it on my PC yesterday on Game Pass. If you, if you have an Xbox or PC and you have Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, and this is not me uh, being sponsored by Xbox, but Xbox, if you want to, give me a give me a sponsor, dude. Throw me a bone. But anyways, yeah, you guys check out Back for Blood if you have um, PC Game Pass or Xbox Game Pass. It's pretty good. It's pretty fun, and that's about as far as I'll go with it. But yeah, um, I'm I'm hoping to get more gaming videos out. You know, we got the Call of Duties coming out. Uh, Metroid Dread just came out, which I've never really been big into Metroid, but I hear the new one's really good on the Switch. And you know, I have a Switch, and that's one of the big exclusives right now. So I, you know, may have to pick that up, um, check that out because it's supposed to be really good. But as far as everything else goes, uh, life's been pretty good. 
got a good job now. Um, get to show off my my actual artwork and stuff, which is funny because we had a conversation today. I, I'm a graphic designer. That's that's my profession. That's something I've always wanted to be. And the job I have it doesn't pay that great, but it's kind of one of those fulfilling type things where I get to see my actual work um, being displayed on things, which is really cool. I actually, we just did a uh, local middle school with a bunch of my artwork and they loved it enough to where they're wanting to do more with another school. So that's, that's pretty cool. Um, on my Facebook, if you guys are actually on my main Facebook, my actual profile, there's actually a album um, that shows all my work. Uh, one of the discussions was having today. I'm not good at drawing. I, I've never been good at it. I'm not what you would call an artist. Uh, I am very good at manipulating things. Um, something I think I've always had an eye for. I like to take existing things and make them something different. Now, um, I guess you would call that collaging, which, uh, yeah, I, I'm fine with it. I think it's actually pretty cool. That's one of the things I like doing. I have no, I'm not embarrassed by that. And, you know, I'm hoping that with some of my artwork, eventually, like, I can get some freelance stuff going and try to expand my profession a little bit more. Uh, maybe doing freelance stuff and stuff for Twitch and YouTube channels. Just try, is that car on fire? Looks like there's a car on fire. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. It just, a big plume of smoke just came out of this car. Maybe they're just smoking pot or something. I don't know. But anyways, yeah, I'm hoping to kind of incorporate, I got ADHD so bad. See, I did it again. <laughs> Um, I'd, I'd like to incorporate some of my work, uh, maybe with other content creators, um, especially, you know, smaller channels like mine, um, or maybe bigger channels if they seem to like it. Um, one of my things I've been wanting to do for a long time, and if you guys could help me achieve this goal, this would be amazing. One of the things I've always wanted to do, my, one of my favorite content creators is Boogie2988. Now you guys know that uh, dude, he's kind of controversial, but he's still one of my favorite YouTubers. I've still followed him for years, pretty much followed him since the beginning. And I was, I've been wanting so bad to do a collab with him, so bad. Ever since I, like he got me into making YouTube and Twitch content, which, I guess some of my content kind of, some people say it reminds them. Maybe it's because I'm a big guy with a beard and I talk about nerdy shit and I'm depressed all the time. Maybe, maybe that's it. Maybe that's why I relate to Boogie 2988. Rather be good, for, good or bad, I don't know. However you want to take it. I don't think I'm a bad guy. Try not to be anyways. If anything, people say I'm too nice because I let people just run me over like a, a fucking rug. And, you know, I am all over the place on this video. And it's, this on the road videos, I, I, I kind of want to do these to be like where I can kind of ramble and just talk about things that's completely on my mind and what's been up in my life without making it seem like I'm just trying to... Uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. It, there, there was a funny comment on the content new video that I keep on going back to. So, we're going to talk about it again real quick. So, apparently, if you make any money at all on YouTube, at all, you are an e-beggar. E that's what I found out, apparently. Apparently, if you make any type of money on Twitch or YouTube, you are considered an e-beggar. And I'm not trying to e-beg, so I don't, I'm not e-begging you. And I don't think I'm an e-beggar. I've never really made any money off YouTube. Now, I have got donations on Twitch before, which 
I never asked for them directly. Like, I put that option there. It's like, and what streamer doesn't? Every streamer I could tell has a donation button. And I'm not trying to justify it, but it doesn't make you an e-bagger unless you're sh straight up saying, hey, give me your money now. Now, do it. You have to. You have to. We're going to be stuck in traffic. A lot of traffic. Oh, my God. Oh, God. I hate traffic. No. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know. Apparently, apparently you are an e-beggar. If automatically. No ifs, ands, or buts. If you make any type of money on the internet, you look at this shit, dude. It is backed up so bad. Oh, my God. I wish I could turn the camera around. That way you guys can see it. We're backed up all the way into the bridge, which it's almost like a mile, almost. What the damn? You get, Of course, you got all these people who just go on, you know, get in the other lane and try to cut through people. Like, oh, I need to get in first in line, so I'm just going to drive on the other lane, even though I know that that lane is closed, and I'm just going to try to get up front fucking cunts <sighs> sorry sorry about that <sighs> but yeah the <laughs> I, I just find it funny that that comment even though we talked about it a little bit on the last video it still strikes me as really funny um you know I understand like if you're basically pleading for money then yeah that's that's e-bagging but if you're just streaming or making YouTube content and somebody wants to give you a donation and there's that donation but button you don't advertise it it's just there I don't think that's e-bagging I think that's just people enjoying your content enough to support it and you know I, I've gave donations to uh, some streamers and uh, you know other things like what, what was the uh, Patreon, it was Patreon and Kickstarter you know I, I've contributed to that stuff I'm not going to lie, there's probably some people that absolutely try to manipulate people uh, on their streams and stuff to give you money but I'll well, take your money I, I think that's a thing I'm not talking about girls which that's another thing I'm not saying that profession's bad because there's a lot of pretty hot chicks uh, doing e stuff on twitch so I'm I'm just I'm just a man with a face but I, I've never contri contributed donations to that stuff I just I'm not saying I never just stop by Amaranth's channel and be like oh it's Amaranth yeah now, I used to be, like, totally against that. Like, it was been one of those uh, simps that's just like, oh, girls can't make money on the internet dressed all scandalously clad. I don't really care. Like, you can do whatever you want. See, you, you can tell we, we jump and jump all over this video. So, it's probably going to be a hated video and a not hated video. But this is the kind of videos I like to make on the road. This is a new series. And we'll probably... Um, do this every once in a while just kind of just clear the air and just chat for a little bit but let me know what you guys are thankful for uh what you guys been playing um if, are you guys in any artists you do you like what do you think about donations e-baggers um tell me everything all your secrets tell me all of them do it but you don't have to just let me know in the comments let's go ahead and try to break 500 followers that would be amazing um you know we got a little bit to go i think we're at 470 some followers now not that far from 500 so i mean if we can keep on pushing that'd be great um we are going to start doing weight loss stuff try it and trying to get back to where i was with losing weight that's a never-ending battle, by the way. It's just like, one day I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do this. And then it's like, oh, no. I, I uh, ate Taco Bell. I ate a donut. Fuck me. 
you know, I just like eat everything else for the rest of the day. It's like, well, I fucked up that one time. Let's fuck up even more. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Definitely hit that follow button, hit that subscribe button. Definitely appreciate all the support. And hopefully, you know, we can do more of these. If you like this kind of content, just let me know. If you don't like it, I won't make it anymore. That's totally up to you guys. I want you guys to be happy with what we make. And like I said, this is like a rambling video. And uh, if you guys want to, uh, shout out to Boogie2988. Be like, hey, motherfucker. Um... How about uh, you do a collab with this guy? It's like, he, he's a fat, it's like Derek's a fat guy. He's depressed. He's a nerd. Um, it actually sounds really mean now that I say it. It's like, Boogie, you're fat, you're a nerd. I don't know if he, what he'll say about that. Don't do that. <laughs> guys, thank you so much. I'll talk to you soon.